What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some shocking, shocking news. Shocking news. As former WBA junior welterweight world champion, Mexican star on the, ver on the verge of becoming a budding superstar, Mexican-American now welterweight title contender in Mario Azteca, El Azteca Barrios, who is 28 wins, two losses, no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he's been knocked out. He's six feet tall with a 71 inch arm each, 28 years of age. He's coming off of two back-to-back -back victories after suffering back-to-back -back losses. Mario Barrios dominated and battered former WBA welterweight world champion Cuban star boxer Yadena Sugis this past Saturday. Won a unanimous decision. And then prior to that, in February of this year, he battered and stopped Giovanni Santiago in the eighth round. Knocked him out, stopped him in the eighth round. Now, prior to that, Mario Barrios took on and lost to, in his first fight at welterweight, former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Keith one time Thurman. He lost unanimous decision. But he hurt Keith Thurman visibly at least three times in that fight. And prior to that, he was fighting at 140, at six feet tall with a 71-inch arm reach. And he suffered the first loss of his career at the time, getting knocked out in the 11th round, dropped three times, by three-division world champion, five-time world champion superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. So Mario Barrios was on the tear leading up into the Tank Davis fight, hence the reason why he got the Tank Davis fight. And then Mario Barrios moved up to welterweight, Took on Keith Thurman. So he had two um, high-profile marquee fights back-to-back. -back, Tank and then Keith Thurman. Then he fought Giovanni Santiago. Get back in the, the record book. The win book. Win, win column. Then he fought Yadena Sugis. And he dominated Yadena Sugis. Now he said he's comfortable at welterweight. And now he's calling out the phenom, as I like to refer to him. An undefeated, welterweight, superstar, title contender, Jerron Boots Ennis. Okay, Jerron Boots Ennis is 31 wins, no losses, no draws. 28 big wins by way of knockout. 26 years of age, 5'10", with a 74-inch arm reach. So Mario Barris is 2 inches taller. He has a he's at a three inch arm reach disadvantage. So uh, Jerron Boots Ennis is viewed as somebody who is the boogeyman and is highly avoided. And so with that said, Mario Barrio says he's now ready for Jerron Ennis and nobody's avoiding and ducking Jerron Boots Ennis. And he's ready to face off against Jerron Boots Ennis. In his next fight. After beating your Dana Sugis. So he's letting it be known that. Well he wants to fight. Jerron Boutinis. And he says he's now grown into the division. The welterweight division that is. He's grown into the division. He's, he's comfortable now in the division. And he wants to fight the man that everybody says is being avoided in Jerron Ennis. This is an interesting fight because Jerron Boots Ennis just simply cannot get a fight. Let's be honest here, okay? Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis is being avoided. Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis uh, uh, has been the, the mandatory challenger for these titles. But unfortunately for Jerron Boots Ennis, he came one error behind the two guys that everybody anticipated seeing fighting and an error behind the other guys that was world champions 
and that's Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Now Terrence Crawford is the undisputed champion, so he holds all the belts, but he has to have a rematch, contractually obligated to rematch. Errol Spence is the other guy who held three of the belts, and Terrence Crawford held one. And then the other guys, such as Keith Thurman himself, not interested in fighting Jerron Boots in it. Then you have Sean Porter, who retired. Danny Garcia moved up out the division, left the division. So that crop of fighters left with your Dana Sugas, who just got stopped. Well, should have been stopped. Mario Barris won a unanimous decision, but I felt like that fight should have been stopped. Nonetheless, these are the guys that simply have come uh, uh, ever before Jerron Boutinis or just not interested in fighting him like Keith Thurman. And so he's been starving for an opportunity to face a big name and or get a world title. And um, he's been uh, um, unable to secure such. And so this is an interesting fight. Now, there's another guy in the division, uh, Amanis Stanionis, uh, who I want to also see Jerron Boots and his face off against. Amanis Stanionis. Oh, and then you have Virgil Ortiz Jr. as well. Okay. Uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr., we don't even know if he's going to box ever again. Right. Um, so Virgil Ortiz Jr., and Jerron Boutin has seemed to be on a collision course for a mega showdown. Uh, the two young fighters, Virgil Ortiz Jr., 19 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. The last time we saw him fight was August of 2022 when he beat Michael McKinnis uh, and he stopped him in the ninth round. But. Virgil Ortiz Jr. now is in a position where it looks like he might be prematurely retiring due to health issues, okay? He's even re-enrolled re in college now. So Virgil Ortiz Jr., we just simply don't know what's going to happen with his career. And on top of that, he was scheduled three different times to face off against Amanis Stanionis, who is the WBA uh, uh, regular champion at welterweight, who was 14 wins, no loss, no draw, Nine wins by way of knockout, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. Amanda Stanionis is the WBA regular champion. He has been scheduled to fight, okay, against Virgil Ortiz Jr. three separate times. And because of Virgil Ortiz Jr.'s health, the fight has been canceled and taken off the table. So he's just been inactive. So Stanionis versus Jerome Boussinis would be a great fight. That's the fight I would love to see. But if he can't secure the fight with, Amanda Stanionis, then the next best option is to see Jerron Boots Ennis and Mario Barrios. I would love to see that fight. Uh, I think that Mario Barrios is a big guy. He's a good boxer, has a great jab, has great range. It's a good uh, experience for Jerron Ennis. Now, I favor Jerron Boots Ennis to win that fight. I think that Jerron Boots Ennis' skill set, his hand speed, his athletic gifts, uh, his power, his accuracy, his sharpness, I think it's just going to simply be way too much for Mario Barrios. Uh, Keith Thurman was nailing Mario Barrios. Javante Tank Davis was getting outboxed in the first five rounds against Mario Barrios, but then he gave, he got a hold of the distance. He's got a hold of the timing. He understood uh, uh, what Mario Barrios was attempting to do, and then he closed the gap, and he dropped him three times and stopped him. Keith Thurman was was teeing off on Mario Barrios, um, but for whatever reason, he couldn't drop him and couldn't seriously hurt him. He was he was damaging his face, battering his face, but he couldn't drop him. And then Mario Barrios, in return, hurt Keith Thurman a few times, visibly hurting him to the body, forcing Keith Thurman to spit out his mouthpiece and run around the ring to survive. And now he battered and outclassed Yodanus Ugas. Now, we didn't know what to expect from Yodanus Ugas after Yodanus Ugas' uh, showdown where he got demolished by Errol Spence Jr. That was um, April 16th of 2022, Arlington, Texas. And Errol Spence broke his ribs, nose, and orbital bone and stopped him in the 10th round. That's the last time we saw Yadanis Ugas fight from that point to the Mario Barrios fight. 
So we didn't know what to expect, but Mario Barrios ended up breaking his other orbital bone in that fight. And I thought the fight should have been stopped in the ninth round, right? But they didn't. So nonetheless, Mario Barrios calling out Jerron uh, Jerron Boutinis is huge because nobody calls out Jerron Boutinis. Nobody. Nobody wants any issues with Jerron Boutinis. And so this is a good fight for Jerron Boutinis to stay active and stay busy. So I would love to see this fight in the end of November, uh, maybe on the Demetrius Andre, you know, uh, David Benavidez fight card. I know that's kind of packed. Jamal Charlo is, and uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. is going to be on that card. Uh, also, uh, it looks like we're going to get um, uh, uh, Ray Vargas uh, on that card, on the undercard as well. So there's big fights on, the, on that undercard. So with that said, maybe we see it on another card in December or so. But, you know, uh, this is huge news. So I think this is a fight that they should look into. Now Mario Barris, I know Bozzi Ennis, father, trainer, and manager of Jerron Boots Ennis, he stated that uh, Mario Barris is a fight that they, they would definitely entertain making happen. So let's make it happen because guess what? I think that this is a fight where, you know, um, uh, uh, it's a good, it's a good test and experience fight for Jerron Boots Ennis, uh, because Mario Barris is so tall, so rangy, you know, uh, uh, uh he's active, has a, a very, very good jab, you know, um, you know, he has good, very good timing. So that would, that would be a very, very good fight for, um, Jerron Boots Ennis. I, I highly favor Jerron Boots Ennis to win that fight, you know, um, but they're talking about Ray Vargas and Brandon Figueroa on the undercard of Benavidez and Andre, and you already got Jamal Charlo and Jose Benavidez on that card. So that card is stacked. So maybe in December we could see Mario Barrios, Jerron Boutinis. Let's see it. And how many people is calling out Boutinis? Not many. So let's see. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.